Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kembo Vu and I am a money management coach. Today I want us to talk about a myth that, uh, you know, financial myth that are causing people to be financially broke. You know, uh, things that people say and people believe that is the truth and honestly it's not the truth. Uh, yeah, because all I want, guys, I want you to be financially liberated. I want you to be financially independent. I want you to be financially free, whatever it means to you, whatever definition you give it. I just want you to reach your financial goals. So let's get into them. The first one. I know, I know. More money solves bad money behaviors or bad finance behaviors. And I'm so glad that, you know, there is a show that a lot of us do watch, you know, which is um, titled I Blew It. And that show is to show you that more money does not resolve any bad finance behavior. So if you have bad financial habits, if you have bad financial uh, behaviors, it's not going to be resolved because you have more money. So you can still have more money and you can still be broke. You can still make a lot of money and you can still be broke. Not because you don't have the money, but because of the financial behaviors or financial habits that you have. So if you have bad spending habit, whether you have a million or whether you have 10,000, you will still have the bad you know, um, spending habit because the, the one thing that happens when you do have this bad spending habits, it means that if you have 10,000 rand, you will start spending for people that have only 10,000 rand. So what does that mean? When you have 1 million rand, you will then spend according to the 1 million rand. So that's what happens. So yeah, more money does not resolve your bad spending behaviors. And if maybe you're asking, okay, what then resolves that I've done a lot of videos because that's what I focus on. My page is a personal finance page, but I focus more on the person than the finance because um, for, the, for many years, we've been focusing on the finance part. Um, and the person in the fine in the personal finance has been left behind and that's why we are having all those shows like I blew it because we the the finance is here or in the in front way the gap is too much the person is here the same person is supposed to be able to manage this finance but there's a gap here we've been preaching a lot about the finance but what about the person who's supposed to take care of the finance that's why you find those shows where people have money they don't even know what to do about it because this person is not liberated this person does not know who they are this person has bad money spent bad spending habits this person is not ever does not even have information of education about that money that they're supposed to take care of so that's why i focus more on the person because you know what we don't want to see people when i blew it so that is a myth more money does not resolve your bad spending habits. The second one, again, it has to do with more money. More money, more problems. <laughs> you know, uh, I know why people would say that, especially if you have your lifestyle creep. Um, and again, if you, you equate it with how much you spend, you know, there is an element of saying more money, it means more expenses. Not entirely though. Um, so that is a myth. There's no more money, more problems. Because people now end up not wanting to have more money because more money means more problems. You know, um, unless the whoever came up with that had their own definition of what problems are talking about. But more money does not equate to more problems. That it, it To me, it equates to more opportunities it equates to more possibilities there's a lot of things that you know if you don't have money you wouldn't do honestly um so there is beauty of having you know um sufficient amount of of money you know the beauty of not having to stress about your credit score because you don't need to take that the beauty of knowing that if another covered something like covered happens you know that uh, even if you leave your job you do have money that will still sustain you so there is beauty and more op or, or possibilities when it comes to money especially with more money especially if you know how to manage that more money so to me that is a myth more money it's not more problems more money depending on how you look at it, 
to me it means more possibilities more freedom you know and there are people that are working jobs they do not like but because they need to make the money because they don't have the money they will end up just working any job so definitely money does give you a level of freedom because when you start working i always say this when you start working for papers because it's your papers and not working because you need to feed your stomach it's very different even your moves are, are, are different even the choices you make are different so more money does not always mean more problems the other one is hey this one it's nice when i said it say it in vernac but i also say it in english when people say meaning that everybody has dead everybody has dead living a dead free life is very impossible that is a myth not everybody has dead yes there are people that are born free everything of theirs it's bought cash or some they were they were they were, they were blessed enough that in inheritance and some they were blessed enough that parents that had money for them to build capital and that's what i want us to start doing for our kids let's build capital for our kids so it's a debt free life possible it is possible just that a lot of people that don't want to go the debt free route because it means a lot of sacrifice it also means a lot of thinking through and we don't want to think through because we don't like accountability and it also means that a lot of living a lifestyle that does not look like the muscles you know um like a minimal lifestyle i know other people they live frug frugal lifestyle you know people will share that they go and thrift you know it will mean doing what most people or what people define as success you know you won't be doing it and then because of that you'll feel like mm, i'm living a low quality life or uh, i'm not living life that is supposed to be lived but the question is by who is it giving you peace to go and buy and thrift such things is it giving you peace for you not to buy a lot of furniture because you don't need it is it giving you peace if the answer is yes then why are you stressed why are you worried that does not look like other people you know so yeah so unfortunately it's that and if you want to live a debt free life even your life will be different from other people and um there's this other video that i was watching that hey be careful you know it's not that you are poor or it's not that you don't have money it's just just that other people they look like they have money because with social media people don't share most people won't come and share when they're broke you know they will share that highlight and some of those things that in debt and you will go and see it and say yo but i could have bought the bands but i've bought the second hand car cash you know i'm li i'm living a less quality of life because it's not what the norm or what is trending or what people deem as success but the question is what is success to you what is financial success to you guys car payments are a lot you know car payments are a lot we've seen it on tiktok there's there's this page where people are sharing their car car agreement vehicle finance ag agreement and oh god my god they are crying and the sad part about a, a car it's that if you bought it it's a depreciating asset if you bought it under debt and you want to take it back your debt will always be higher than the market price that you can see you can sell it for so you always have a shortfall so please Nah, that is a myth uh it does not mean that everybody is has debt and you know people can't be debt free you can actually be debt free you can actually um you know live a life where you don't even have to pay debt including your bond yeah guys a bond is a debt you decide how and uh when do you want to finish it off the bank will give you that term you can change that term and say i want to finish it in five years more sacrifices more of things that you don't have to do for you to finish that um debt and then get out of there and own your house you know yeah and not have any debt on your house so debt free it's not impossible that it's a myth and not everybody's living in debt that it's a myth you can live a debt free life if that's what you aspire that's what you want and that's what's gonna give you peace and the fourth one money has power we've had that a lot this it's a myth guys money does not have power <laughs> you empower the money i always make an example and say if you get paid you don't even tell your money where to go in terms of go and pay your car payments and bond and it just stays there in your account do you think that money is gonna move 
Do you think the man is going to move? A money is a resource and then you give it power. That's why I want to empower the person who's dealing with finance because we always feel like the resource is the one that is powerful. You are the one that is powerful because you are the one that controls and manages the money. You go here, you go there, you do this for me. I put you in there. So the money does not have power over you. You have power over money. Does it give you, we spoke about this on the other myth, does it give you an, uh, uh, more possibilities um, or more opportunities? Yes, it does. But does it mean that it's powerful more than you know? So it's a myth. Money does not have power over you. You have power over money. Um, that's why money will just stay there in your account or your, you know, if you don't tell it where to go or it can stay there in your bag if you don't use that money and for it to do what you want it to do. So money does not have power over you you actually have power over money the other one hey this one i should have started with this one but i'm gonna end with it because this is the number one reason why we have a lot of people that are broke a lot of people that are financially frustrated whatever negative feeling you have about finances it comes from this one majority of the time Budgeting, it's for broke people. Oh, gosh. Budgeting, it's for broke people. Budgeting, it's not for broke people. You know? Budgeting, it's a, that it's a myth and it's a lie. It's not for broke people. <laughs> Budgeting, in simple terms, it's you telling your money where to go. So, if you have money and you tell your money where to go, why does it mean that you're broke? A millionaire also tells money where to go. You know, that's why even as a country, we have a budget as a country. Do you think uh, South Africa is broke? You know, maybe compared to other to other um um to other countries which are doing so well yes but it, south africa is also richer than other countries in the african continent that are not doing so well so guys a budget don't have a negative you know um feeling against a budget i've done a video i will link it down here that um the title is the reason why you hate budgeting guys i think it's because people have named it all those things they it's for broke people it's for what budgeting it's not for broke people. I remember I always say this. DJ Spusi once, um, he went out with a millionaire or a billionaire. They went out and he was so surprised that the millionaire also budgets to pay the bill, you know. And then he was so shocked that how, I thought you have the money, all the money in the world. Why are you still budgeting? And then he was like, yes, I need to tell my money where to go because that's, that is money management 101. If you don't win with budget, you are not going to win with finance. So it's not for broke people. It's not for people that, are not, that do not have money. And I don't, I don't like this term of saying doing what, what on a budget as if you're doing it because you don't have money, you know. Uh, but yeah, budget, guys, it's not for broke people. Everybody budgets or everybody should budget. In actual fact, everybody budgets. They just, some don't do it formally in writing some maybe they also um of they, they go over their budget because when you say i'm gonna go to the shop and i'm gonna spend five thousand rand and this is what i'm gonna buy or when you say my car payment is ten thousand rand and that's what i'm gonna pay it's you budgeting it's just that you're not putting it in a spreadsheet you're not putting it in a in a list or in paper or formally writing it as a budget because you cannot spend money without budgeting when you go and buy a car you know and they tell you a payment that payment is going to be part of your budget because you need to take it out and pay so in in simple terms everybody lives on a budget <laughs> you know because that's what we need to do it's like breathing of finances it's like if you take out budgeting from your finances your finances are going to collapse. They're going to die. That's why even a company, uh, whatever, however bigger the company is, however uh, profit the company is making, they will still do a budget. So budget is not for broke people. Please, guys, if in all the things that I've mentioned on this video, if you get this one right, you will win with your finances. You will win with your finances. And I just want to add another one. Um, I don't know if it's a myth or what, but I just feel like it's a myth in our Christian community where we believe that God does not want us to have money. <laughs> That's a lie. 
that's a lie i want to do a video where i'm sharing you know um wealth lessons from the bible god does not want us to suffer god does not want us to have less money does god want us to put money as god no money is not god and i know we like that scripture i've, I've done a video as well where i was talking about is money really evil you know the scripture did never said money is evil the scripture was talking about me as the individual that if i start loving money more than god if i start loving money you know um and i start killing for money you know that is the evil thing that is happening it is not the money but if i i i, I manage the money well that god has given me i do the things that i need to do with that money that has nothing to do with me putting it in front of god and me killing other people then there's nothing evil about that so i know we like using that scripture we also like thinking that prosperity is not meant for christians i think i'll do a whole video about that god wants you to prosper there is a verse that people that were rich in the be in the bible who were wealthy you know god you know our god you know there's a verse that says that the gates are gold and everything so why do we think that we need to be poor <laughs> and that's what god wants us to have you know and for us to be financially frustrated and financially um depressed do you know that when you're financially depressed it actually affects your whole life you can't be able to go to that work that is giving you money. You can't even save your family. You can't even pray, you know, to cry out loud. You can't even pray. How are you going to pray when you can't, you don't even have food to eat and all those things? So, yeah, I know that one, I think I'll do a separate video, but I just wanted to edit in to say, guys, no, money is not evil. And um, money is not something that God does not want us to have. In fact, he wants us to have it. That's why he gives it to us. He is the provider. I loved, um, I don't know if she will be watching, uh, but I once saw another sister of uh, of mine here that I've met on social media here on YouTube. Her name is Refilo Machiba. I love her content so much. Um, so she was saying that, you know, she was doing a, 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 she was doing a study of the word provider. I'll also put her details here so that you guys can go and watch her content, especially for women. You know, it's very good. Christian women, please go and watch that content. Um, so she says she was doing a study about the word provider and she says pro, pro it's a prefix, which is true, meaning that God provides for you before you even need that thing. So it's something that is done before you can even do it. So it's something that you, you get, God gives you the money now for something that you will need in 10 years and five years and seven years. So the provision is already there before you can even need that thing. So why would God not want us to be financially wealthy or, you know, while he is the provider okay guys don't forget to share this video with somebody as you know in this community sharing it's caring i just hope that uh, you know you can get another side of all those myths and all those sayings that people are saying out there and then you are believing them and you're running with them and they're not even helping you financially i just hope that with this information that i've shared you will start seeing things differently and know that guys you are empowered not only by me or by by the world and everything that you have learned ever since you were born but you are also empowered by god i will see you on my next upload bye